Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my new Vegas mini-series of the Repcon Blues, where today we are still on the hunt for all these CPU cores that we have been searching through various crashed rockets to find, and today, hopefully if all goes well, we should find the last core. Now, I have brought us off-camera back to the Hunter's Farm, hoping that we should be able to make it to the crashed rocket ship here, which I'm actually a little bit happy about because I was fearing that it was in the quarry, but it seems to just be outside of it, so we may not have to deal with too many death claws. That being said, though, I'm actually a little bit depressed because I, I literally just opened up the game and teleported us over here thinking, all right, I'll start the episode once I get to Hunter's Farm. Yeah, two things. One, I was greeted by a number of uh, fire geckos, which of course I had to kill here, and some powder gangers. Now, I had hoped that the powder gangers and geckos would turn on each other, but no, they all turned on me. And that was awful. And I realized halfway through the fight that I was being shot at from that direction. Yeah, remember last time we were here and got killed by the Death Claws? Um. Yeah, those legionary assassins were here again. I had to quickly run behind this house and basically cowered in this corner and killed them one by one as they came around it. Because, of course, we discovered in the last episode that, holy crap, I didn't realize that this was a hardcore character. So, you know, I can't just cram a whole load of stim packs into me to heal myself. So I was on, like, 5% health and just killing them with a shotgun as they came around the corner. <laughs> It was it was actually a pretty fun fight, and I wish I would have had my recording software on, but I did not. But we live, and hopefully, I mean, we'll continue to live today. I, I can't believe this is a hardcore character. I, I didn't even think about that. I rarely play them because, you know, I just like screwing around. But no, apparently this character from long, long ago... <laughs> it's a hardcore one. Oh god, I just realized this character hasn't slept in ages. Oh no. <laughs> this could be a problem for our series. So, oh well, let's uh, get out a sniper rifle just to sort of see if we... Ha oh no, that's a silence 22 pistol. There we go, sniper rifle. Let's see if there's any immediate danger. I'm very worried about death claws, but I'm hoping... With where we're supposed to be going, there might not be any. Which is good! I don't want to be mauled by a death claw while I'm searching for a rock. Oh god, my hunger has increased! <sighs> I, um. I really wish I would have realized this. What's a good one? Ruby's casserole! Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, good old Ruby casserole. Let's eat two. And then, of course, down on a purified water. Wonderful! God, what are my other stats? <laughs> uh, H2O, we're, we're, we're good, food, we're good, sleep is increasing, but we're good. All right, all right, let's, let's continue on. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize it, and we've been going for a couple of episodes now without me taking care of the needs of a survival hardcore character. Oh boy, oh god, I'm seeing red. Are those death claws over that way, or are they something else? I don't know. I definitely know that those are death claws. Well, since I can't really snipe anyone up there, oh, let's go to a different gun. <laughs> oh, we are going to die today. Oh boy! All right, dragoon assault rifle. Oh boy. So much red. See, I think that may be too many red for it to be death claws. Death claws are usually a little bit more spread out. Famous last words. Oh god, there's the rocket! Oh boy, well, we're hidden. There is death claws guarding it. Alright, out with the sniper rifle. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a more powerful gun. Yeah, this is turning into the Skyrim. Uh, series all over again where I didn't realize we'd be fighting fighting certain things. Oh boy. Hi, Deathclaw. I really don't have a great shot on either of you. And if I kill one of you, or even shoot one of you, I'm gonna pull both. Boom! 
Oh! Oh, never mind, we might be fine! Ah, uh, there's that one. <gasps> okay, he's, he's found his dead friend. Oh, that was not a good shot. Neither was that. Uh, neither was that. The other one died so easily. Was it a young death claw? I don't know. Well, back to the Dragoon. Okay. Da -da -da -da. And that's all in the head. Ah, uh, that's not good. I'm going to die. Yep. Oh god. Oh god. He, he didn't come after me. Have I pulled any others? Oh, here he comes. And boom! I said boom! Oh, thank god he died. <laughs> I was a bit, uh... I was a bit ahead of myself with that first boom. Oh, nothing on him. Alright, we're hidden. Good. Good. Oh, I need more bullets. <laughs> Yeah, that other death claw died a, a lot easier, and it kind of kind of made me feel better about myself there. <laughs> it put me into a false sense of security. All right, let's uh, sneak, 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 sneak. Don't want to get killed by other death claws that might be around, like those over that way. Were you a young death claw or something? No, you were a normal death claw. How'd you die so easy? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> In we go! I'm just gonna stay inside the rocket. I don't ever wanna leave again. <laughs> oh my. Alright, at least the CPU core is in here. I was actually very worried about the CPU core, because I thought after the last episode where we had the core we had to then go find on those skulls, guys. I feared that maybe, like, I don't know, a death claw had gotten it or something. I don't know how a death claw would get in here, but, you know, maybe a, maybe a person, a prospector, came in, took it, and then a death claw killed him, possibly. That would have been awful. Back to hiding. Okay. Oh, God, I need sleep. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. If I try... There was... Was there a bed at that place? I don't... I don't remember. Ranger safe house. Oh god, am I at that point in the story where I can use that or I don't know if I am or not? Oh, screw it. We're gonna go there. <laughs> Over all the way to the Repcon launch facility. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take care of some needs off camera. Or on camera. Most likely on camera. There's gotta be like a bedroll in here or something. Yeah, still those red things over there. I'm not sure. Alright, well, in we go. Ah. <sighs> Hmm. Okay. I don't know why I paused there for a moment. I thought something was wrong, but no. No, it's the same same place. We've come in through it multiple times now. Does this guy have a bed somewhere? No, the mainframes. Ooh, hey, we can... Oh, oh, God. Am I supposed to come in here? No, I'm not. The arrow's that way. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's, um... Not see the bedroll, and he is trapped behind the bot. Hi, Terry. Hey, back. Need anything? Oh, I have things for you. Wait, you do? To be honest, I didn't think you'd be able to pull it off. Neither did I. Guess I was dead wrong. I mean, once I figured out I had a hardcore character. <laughs> now, if you'll just follow me down to the mainframe room, we'll get those CPU cores hooked up to the mainframe. I still don't know if I want to do that, considering what I've read. Fun. Time's a wasting. It's gonna go all hell on us, man. Oh, he took me there automatically. Ah, crap. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of mainframes. Alright, first I assume we're supposed to talk to him or something. I'm gonna go over here. And loot! Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful things. Ooh, hello, middle box. No, nothing fun. So what are we actually supposed to do right now? Quest! Uh-oh. <laughs> that doesn't bode well. Well, let's, uh, terminal. Alright, what do we got here? Tyranny, routing, sparing, wearing, dealing, landing, worried, disband, fencing, stunned, servant, and sealing. 
Boom! I actually thought it was wearing, because we had a couple of things like that, but hey, first try! Awesome! Oh, I love when that happens. Personal notes. Files deleted. Inbox. You are winner! Not a winner, just winner. You have win one million. Reply now. Claim your cash. This is real. This is not scam. Claim your money. Uh, from your brother, please read. Hey, bro, it's me. Look, I know this is going to sound really strange, but you have to quit your job at that Repcon place and get you and your family as far away from Vegas as you can. Listen, things are going to shit here at Delta 5. I don't even know what's going on. Everything's such a mess. All I know is that something very bad is probably going to happen here soon, and it'll put the lives of everyone in Vegas at risk. I can't explain anymore. Can't risk it in case someone else reads this message. All I can ask is that you get you and your family as far away from there as possible. I heard Prim is pretty nice, so maybe you guys can settle down there. I wish I could tell you more, but I can't. I could get in a whole heap of trouble for just talking to you like this. Don't reply to this message. Harry Granger, Delta 5 Research Facility, Nevada. Interesting. Outbox. Avenger testing! Honestly, Michelle, I have no idea why you're so worried. We have the Avenger completely under control. Oh god, that's the computer, isn't it? Why is it called Avenger? It's going to kill us all. There's nothing that can go wrong. It did, I'm assuming. Sure, we're going to be giving it access to our system. Bad plan. But we've all got the proper safeguards in place. There's nothing to worry about, really. There probably is. I'm seriously starting to wonder why you're always so concerned about me these days. Oh, oh god, I clicked it twice. There we go. And that's it. Alright, well, let's go next computer. Requires key. Oh, cr oh crap. Huh. Got a key anywhere? Oh, now I want to find the key. Oh no. Oh boy, it's probably hidden somewhere and I'm never going to find it, am I? Uh, no. Foot locker. No. No, well, hopefully we get it at some point. Hmm. Yeah, let's check out you. Requires key. All right, hi Terry. Okay, looks like everything's running smoothly here. Wonderful. Guess those cores weren't as banged up as I thought they'd be. And what now? Now that the mainframe's backed up, we should be able to access the prototype storage vault on the lower levels. Do we really wanna? There's an entrance to that section of the facility in the back of the hangar. Come on, let's go. Are you, are you sure? I can hardly wait to see what's in there. We're gonna die. <laughs> okay. Investigate the prototype storage vault at the back of the hangar. Well, apparently I'm going this way. Is there, is there, do you have no bed here, sir? I need to sleep. My poor, poor character. <laughs> Uh, I should also probably take some healing powder or something to top up my health. I'm actually going to do that now. Uh, da -da -da -da, and items. I'm sure I got some healing powder. Actually, I know I do. I looted it off of some of those legionaries. Ha-ha! Perfect. Oh, no. Perception negative two. Oh, well. So, back to the hangar, eh? Oh, uh, yeah. I remember seeing a door back there. Wonderful. Do we go here first? No, we just go down there. Oh, God. Am I going to have to wait for him and his slope? Oh, I forgot about this stuff. Yes. Let's read this now. Now that we're actually heading this way, it's time to read. Okay. 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 Oh, go, oh, God. Terry. <laughs> Jesus. Scared the hell out of me, man. All right. Terminal first. Launch terminal. Launch controls. Hostile intrusion detected. Ugh. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Technical issues. Let's check out what that is. Data. Misc. Launch girl. <laughs> oh god, sorry. Excuse me. A little thing at the back of my throat there. The launch control system's been acting up lately, and no one seems to know why. Come to think of it, a lot of computer equipment has been acting up lately. Maybe it's that whole Avenger thing, and you know, you linking it to all your systems. Probably a bad plan. I hope this has nothing to do with those tests that Nolan mentioned. That thing they were working on gives me the creeps. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about, though. Michelle, launch control staff. Oh, yeah, you gotta worry. Alright. Can't get into that computer yet. Well, let's continue down this way. 
Okay. I heard noise. <laughs> oh, nope, requires key. Don't have that yet. Mm -hmm. Anything fun and or lootable? God, I really want to launch a rocket. Why can't we launch rockets in this place? <laughs> Would have been wonderful. All right, so here, terminal. Disengage. All right, we're in. Oh, great, dead bodies. I hate you, Terry. I, I, I hate you so much. You, you, you brought me into this. And seriously, why don't you have a bed? My character needs to sleep. Oh, and I just saw another body. Oh, well, let's grab first aid things. There we go. <laughs> Any notes on the floor? Lots casings. Well, hey, I can reload these. <laughs> You know, never pass up an opportunity. It's yeah, it's a harsh world out there. Gotta gotta use what you got. You're not you're not gonna comment on the horde dead bot uh, the sentry bot. Yep. Gonna die. Ooh, finally cabinet. Alright, I'll take those. Oh, nope. No, that one's empty. Ha <sighs> yep, we're gonna die. All right, what about here? Unseal vault door. Phew. <sighs> More bodies. I, I'm re, I really hate you, Terry. Also, let's. I know this isn't really necessary, but I picked up another 10 millimeter machine gun, and I, uh, I need to fix it. <laughs> it has to happen. It, it just has to. You all know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. Take what have we done? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh. The Avenger has gotten loose in the system. The security bots have gone nuts and are killing people on sight. Half the doors aren't responding, and we can't get in contact with any of the other levels. I fucking told them a dozen times that the thing was way too unpredictable to be screwing around with. Now, look what's happened. Me and a few other people have locked ourselves in the prototype vault. The door controls are in a secure system, so hopefully it won't be able to access them anytime soon. I have no idea where Michelle or any of the other launch control staff are at the, this moment, although I'm assuming the worst at this point. Oh, God, I think I just heard the vault door locks. Oh, yep, they did. Damn it, Terry. All right, well, let's check out the robots there. Hello, power armor. Which I don't know how to use yet. I'm pretty confident in that on this game at the moment. Oh, electronic igniter. Nice. Um, I'm going to take those. I don't know why, but I feel like I might need them in the future for something. Hmm. Oh, prototype particle. Ro oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Crap. <laughs> Prototype particle rifle! This prototype was the result of a couple of months' work trying to develop a continuous beam particle weapon for military use. We were never quite able to iron out some of the more persistent kinks in the system, so for now it's going into storage, probably indefinitely. Up until the project was shut down, most of the work was being put into streamlining the design and addressing some major weight issues. Really? You don't say. We were also having problems with the capacitor bank burning out after a fairly short period of use. Almost all attempts to rectify the issue did not produce any noticeable results. The bottom line is that it was not deemed to be a satisfactory weapon for standard field use. I'm leaving this hollow tape here in case R&D eventually decides to pick this thing back up again and continue work on it. If the day ever comes, researcher Robert Burns, Repcon R&D department. Oh god, ammo, ammo. Unlock thing. Almost. There we go. I also just realized that I am on hardcore mode and ammunition takes weight. <sighs> well, I really have some things to fix here. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. There we go. Useless. Okay, okay, hold on. What's my current weight situation like here? 281 now. Oh, boy. Yeah, I should probably drop this. Uh, that ball buster he gave me. This brush gun I got off that legionary guy. Hmm. I'm kind of carrying a lot more than I probably should be. 
<laughs> Built-in particle. Oh, so it's like the recharger rifle. Ooh. Yay. Uh, rat Slayer. Oh, I love my Rat Slayer. I can't get rid of you. All right, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is slowly walk over this way. Hi, Robot. Can I loot you? Nope. Oh, more things. Hell? Looks like this vault is full of useless junk. So much for pre-war treasures. Dude, I have a prototype laser weapon. I should have known better, I guess. Just thought maybe for once I might strike it rich down here. Nope. Come on, let's go. I'll buy us both a round of drinks at the Wrangler once we get out of here. We're not gonna get out of here, are we? Ugh. All these skeletons are starting to give me the creeps. Yeah, I have a feeling some. Does that red light always on? <gasps> it has a scope. <laughs> Okay, yeah, time to add more weight to myself. I probably shouldn't have grabbed that. Actually, the electronic igniters don't have a weight. Broken launcher. Oop, terminal. More of the little rockets. S-Pods project failure. Self-propelled ordnance delivery system. S-Pods failure. The goal of the S-Pods project was to provide National Guard and other Homeland Defense Forces with a source of readily available munitions in the event of a red Chinese attack on U.S. soil. The S-Pods consist of small rocket-propelled munitions which are designed to be indistinguishable from a standard toy rocket. Oh my god, they were using those rocket, those toys as a weapon. <laughs> the prototype launcher that was developed for the project was never able to be deemed effective and the project was shut down just as the distribution phase had begun due to a recent public relations incident involving children ingesting the uh, isotope 239 good old repcon shakes igniting the agent contained within the s prototype all information related to the true nature of the project has been classified top secret any disclosure of information will result in immediate termination I love it. <laughs> energy Weaponry. Advanced Energy Weapon Program. Approved! So far, development of Advanced Energy Weaponry has been an overwhelming success. Our Q series of compact plasma weapons has exceeded expectations and is currently under field trials with the U.S. Armed Forces. Moreover, it appears that uh, several rival companies, namely Delta Labs and Redacted, have also been pursuing plasma weapon research in order to stay competitive. Repcon's R&D focus should immediately shift to newer, more exotic technology such as particle beam weaponry. This is effective immediately. Oh god, Avenger. Project Avenger, virus approved. The Avenger, as we've taken to calling it, is a highly adaptable, virulent computer program of unknown origin. Once it gains access to a system, it will attempt to gain control of any local security systems or defense measures, with the goal being to eliminate what it perceives as enemy combatants. Secondary objectives include gathering sensitive intelligence data. We believe that it may, in fact, originate from a scrapped military R&D program referred to as Project Avenger, hence the name, in late 2060s, uh, which appears to have been tasked with developing a weaponized virus to use against the Chinese government infrastructure. Despite growing concerns as to what an aerospace company like Repcon would serve to gain from such a project, but the development has been greenlit by the administrator. Further test of the Avenger will commence in the near future. Wonderful. We're all... G oh my god, spot grenade. I have the things now. And does that launch these? <laughs> oh my god, I want it. I want it. I want it, Terry. I want it. But I, I'm over encumbered. Also, I want to fire this real quick. Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> All right, so that is actually going to be it for today's episode. We are the 24th. Four minute mark right then uh, so this is a good place to end uh, in the next episode I assume we're going to try and walk out of here and things are going to happen so I'm just going to stand right here and possibly maybe cheat and maybe give myself some more carry capacity but that will be for next episode I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next win hopefully Terry will die for bringing this upon us damn you Terry but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one